I'm here with Robbie from Metrop, who's going to introduce us to his range of fertilisers that are manufactured in Holland. Hello, Robbie. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. So first of all, I want to ask you how many products are in your range and what are they? In the, the Metrop uh, range, uh, we have uh, fertilisers and we also manufacture uh, fertilisers for other brands. Uh, and that, that is, there are, those are many, many different fertilisers. So what's unique about the Metrop nutrients? Um, what's very unique about uh, the Metrop nutrient is that they are liquid, very high concentrated. I have one example for you, so you can feel the bottle. Oh, yeah. yeah. As you can feel, it, it's very heavy. And when you shake the bottle, you can feel it, it's very thick uh, fertilizer. And that's uh, very unique in, uh, in the world. Great stuff. So what is the benefit of having concentrated liquid fertilizer over normal fertilizer? The benefit of uh, concentrated liquid fertilizer over normal fertilizer is that uh, the freight charge of many pellets compared to one small pellet, for example, uh, the storage uh, place, uh, the stock you have, or you need many pellets or you just have one pellet in stock. Mm. Uh, when you have a shop, uh, you have many big bottles or just uh, a small corner with, uh, with some fertilizer. Mm. And yeah, that's already uh, a lot of benefits. Um, saves you money, saves you uh, storage place, stock place, but also for the people who buy it and use it, yeah, or you buy a lot of tanks with water fertilizer, or you just buy one bottle uh, for the same uh, amount of uh, plants uh, you use. So is this more expensive then? Yeah, one liter metrop fertilizer is more expensive. Mm. But uh, if you calculate it back to the concentration, it is more cheaper. It lasts longer. It lasts longer, yes. Fantastic. Mm. So apart from the concentration, is there anything else that's different? Uh, yes, there are. There are many differences. Um, and we'll mention a few. Uh, one of the differences is that uh, there are many micro elements already in, uh, in the fertilizers. Uh, I know uh, some other brands say we have micro elements in it, but that's just the amount that comes with the water. We really put them in. Um, that means that uh, some other uh, stimulators from other brands you don't need because those are just some micro elements and it's already in it. And uh, another uh, difference is that uh, we have standard in all our fertilizers already a wetting agent. And that means that all our fertilizers are suitable for foliar feed. Okay, so there are six fertilizers in your range. Why are there so few compared to other manufacturers? Uh, because we make uh, our fertilizers uh, right away more complete. As I said, uh, certain microelements uh, like molybdenum, zinc or magnesium, we put it all in the same bottle and not in another bottle and another bottle and another bottle. And yeah, with that we managed to make uh, everything even in five bottles for a, no a normal growing stage. And the sixth bottle you have in your hand, that's for another uh, kind of uh, growing. Okay, so am I right in thinking it's cheaper because of the concentration, but it's also cheaper because there are fewer bottles? Yes, indeed, uh, because uh, some micro elements like magnesium, as I said, and zinc is already in this bottle. So going back to this bottle six, as you called yes, it, yes. What, what, what's so different about this one? Um, this mum fertilizer is uh, developed special for creating clones and mother plants. And uh, mother plants, they have a totally different need of uh, nutrients. And because of that, we needed uh, to make a completely uh, separate fertilizer. Okay, so we'll come back to the other five bottles later on. Mm -hmm. But this one here, why does the mother plant need different nutrition? Well, because mother plants, they uh, are in veg state and they have to stay in veg state. Um, but you, you cut them all the time and they have to recover each time. And uh, for recovering, they need another cocktail of microelements. But also mother plants, they have a high need of phosphorus. So we made a fertilizer with uh, the exact amount of uh, phosphorus what the, the mother plant needs 
and with the cocktail, uh, the micro element cocktail that also the plant help to recover quick. Um, well, our idea is uh, if you make strong mother plants, you create strong clones or cuttlings. Great. Okay, so we spoke about that one. So which nutrient would you use at what part of the growth stage and why? Well, we start with uh, the MR1 uh, fertilizer. It is an, uh, the veg uh, fertilizer. It is in 10, 40, 20, 40% 40 phosphorus. Uh, we use that from beginning uh, from a little plant until we have uh, the first fruit setting like this big. Um, why so many phosphorus in, uh, in the growth stage? Because the most phosphorus in a plant is in the, in the roots. And the roots is the basic. If you got big roots in the beginning, you have a uh, big plant later. Mm. Um, when we have uh, the fruit setting, then uh, the plant uh, needs a lot of potassium. And for that, we have the MR2 fertilizer. That is in 10, 20, 40 percent potassium. Um, the main rule is the more uh, potassium you can give compared to phosphor to something you want to make thick, uh, the, the thicker the fruit will be. And it doesn't matter which kind of fruit, can be tomato, uh, can be apples. Uh, we also sell the same products to onion farmers and sugar beet farmers. The main rule is the potassium against the phosphorus to make something very, very thick. Um, we also have uh, the cow green uh, fertilizer. Um, the element calcium is the fourth important element for a plant and, in yeah, my opinion, way too less in most other fertilizers. And Calcium, um, you cannot put it in the same bottle where phosphor is in it. So that's why we have to separate it in another bottle. Um, what calcium is doing is that in the, in the medium, calcium is like the spoon who helps the roots eating other elements. Mm. And in the plant, uh, calcium is sitting in mostly sitting in all the cell walls to make the cells stronger, harder and more heavier. Okay, so we can't put calcium and phosphorus in the same bottle, but is it okay to put them in the tank? Uh, yes and no. Um, if you mix them in the wrong way, then you also get a chemical reaction. Right. Uh, but if you mix it on the, on the right way, then it's no problem. Um, the difference is that uh, when calcium and phosphor comes in the same water together, but uh, the pH of the water is too alkaline, it will react. Okay. Uh, you can see it on the, the side of the tank, it's very dirty, or you see it very quick right away that clouds are appearing in, in the water. When you have a pH uh, of that's acid, lower than 7, then it's no problem, then you can mix it without any problem. Great yeah. stuff. So you've already spoke about MR1 and MR2 and of course the Cal Green. Mm -hmm. What about the remaining two fertilizers? Yes, the aminos. Um, those are very special uh, stimulators, um, those are uh, amino acids, but uh, they are made with a process called biosynthesis. And there's only one factory in Europe who can do that, and uh, well, we are related uh, with that. Uh, it's our own formula, that factory makes the amino specially for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it has a lot of benefit to have amino acids made with biosynthesis. But I can tell you later that on the whiteboard. Great. OK, so thank you very much for your time today, Robbie. You're welcome. Robbie will explain a little more about his products and plant science in general throughout the remainder of the series.